Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at problem 11 in chapter 21. Chapter 21 is about electric charge and electric fields. You can see we have two positive particles, right? Two positive point charges. And the distance is fixed, R. And now we, we know the total, the sum of their charges is QT. Ask Q how the charge is distributed for the 1 and the 2 to make the, we get maximum electric force. So we can consider the charges for 1, the particle 1 is as Q. For particle 2, the charges is QT minus Q, do you agree? Therefore, we can write the electric force by using Coulomb law, right? Coulomb's law, F equal to Q, and Q times the QT minus Q divided by R squared, and then you can write it in this way. It looks like we need to maximum this uh, force, F, and uh, on the Q, right? So in this equation, you can say K is constant, R is fixed, QT is fixed, so only variable is Q, agree? So this is a function about Q, and uh, this is independent variables, this is dependent variables. Now we need to find the uh, Q to make the F maximum, so we can take derivation. So we use the DF derivation on the Q, right? And then it looks like this one, and it must be to equal to zero to reach the maximum point. So maximum point, maximum force. And if we want to use, make this function equal to zero, the only choice is Q equal to half of the QT, right? So Q equal to half of the QT, we can get the maximum of electric force. The next one, how do you find the minimum of the electric force? As we know, the electric force comes from two charged particles, right? If one particle is not charged, there is no electric force. So now we can see if the Q equal to zero, the QT just equal to, sorry, the QT, another one is just the QT. In this case, there is no electric force, so the electric force is zero. Thank you.